Good evening, everyone. A second case of the COVID-19 coronavirus has been confirmed in New York State. As the virus continues to creep closer to our area, local health care providers are getting ready. Kayla Green talked to the owner of a local urgent care. Kayla joins us now. So, Kayla, what are the plans here? Adam, the owner of Acute Kids Pediatric Urgent Care tells me the whole healthcare community is working together to develop standard guidelines to screen patients. She says the tricky thing about the possibility of treating coronavirus, the symptoms are very similar to the flu. The key questions to ask to separate the flu from the coronavirus. Have you actually been exposed to a person who has been laboratory confirmed coronavirus? Or have you traveled to one of these countries that the CDC is now saying is a high-risk country? Chris Acharno is the clinical director at Acute Kids Pediatric Urgent Care. She's preparing for a possible coronavirus outbreak here in Monroe County. She says if a patient answers yes to either of those questions, they'll be considered a higher risk. If they qualify um, by exposure or travel, then they immediately get masked and we take them right back to an exam room and kind of quarantine them away from other people. But what if someone doesn't have the risk factors and is still very sick? Those patients may be transferred to the hospital so that we can evaluate them further and testing can happen and so forth. We do not have a lot of testing out there. Um, ambulatory urgent care centers probably will not get testing for this sort of thing. Um, so that's going to be a hospital-based uh, program that will be running. Another option, call before coming in. If they are a high-risk patient and they're healthy and not having too much trouble just from that phone triage, we may actually encourage them stay home. Don't come and expose the rest of the waiting room and the staff and so forth. Um, and that's how we control pandemics that end up occurring is by kind of quarantine people in their own homes. Charno also says if you're healthy and don't have a lot of medical problems, the coronavirus could just end up being a mild illness. As always, she says to wash your hands thoroughly and avoid coughing or sneezing into the air. Kayla Green, News 8. Kayla, thank you. Development of testing for coronavirus in our area is in the early stages.